Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasures video we are going to do a preparation guide for the upcoming treasure map versus Big Mom. This TM is literally all over the place, it's a mess with how many legends we have gotten and units from Halloween Corazon Law to now the new Zoro. But regardless I will do my best to help you guys out by showing my teams, explaining them and also offering possible replacements, so without further ado let's do it. The first mini boss is Q Apu, and everyone gets special cooldown reduction, but in stage number 3 we get an HP cut for 50%. All of our slots are turned to block, special reverse on everyone for one turn, three turns of defense up for the enemy and also delay immunity. And there's an interruption, yes, an interruption in the first boss. You cannot use a damage reduction shield giving special because then all of your effects will be removed, and on top of that you get more of an HP cut. We do not want that to happen, because on defeat there is also on defeat action on the first boss. Treasure map is looking bright these days. The boss revives to 50% of its original HP, and then we get a captain swap for 3 turns. We are going to prevent everything here, so don't really worry. And also something we cannot prevent, on final defeat 50,000 damage. That will happen, but we will try to minimize it and survive it of course. The team we are going to do it with is this one. First off, we need Tasigi, Treasure Map Tasigi that is, as captain, and the reason for that is because Tasigi is a slasher and cerebral unit, when we activate Treasure Map Law, the previous Treasure Map unit, he can become captain and also increase our attack boosting and or boosting buffs, so we also have them active after the boss revives. Other than that, Tasigi can also completely deal with the defense up and increase our color affinity boost. If you do not have another color affinity booster instead of Tasigi, she can give you a color affinity boost, so you're absolutely fine. Now, Lo of course will become captain and he will give us a full board of matching slots through block slots, so he's awesome here, hence why he is recommended. And if you also use him as friend captain, you are going to get more points because he is boosted by 1.4 times while everyone else is lower. Then we have Kid, who could technically give us super typing, but we cannot actually achieve that because he is not a slasher or a cerebral unit, so when Law replaces him, he cannot extend the duration of our attack boosting and or boosting buffs. That's why Kid won't be captain at the start of the quest, but he can still be very useful because he gives a very high attack boost. He's also boosted by 1.35 times. If you want to replace him because you miss him, a Nor booster or an attack booster will absolutely do here. You are searching for damage in the place of Kid. Then we have Koala here who is important because he can give us high healing to survive the damage of 50,000 at the end of the quest after Apu's defeat. She can also provide a color affinity boost which Tasigi can boost even further so it is very high. But if you do not have Koala, do not worry, the Tasigi color affinity boost is fine and you can replace Koala with a high healer like for example Vitu Hiyori or Treasure Map Film Red Chopper. And if you find that the healing from the replacement is not as good as Koala's because it's not going to be but in case it's not enough, you can use a support that provides a damage reduction shield or perhaps threshold because the support action is not interruptible by Apu so you can reduce the damage that way if it's not fixed damage, which is not mentioned here in the quest guide. The final unit is Strength Kawamatsu from the first batch of the 8.5 anniversary. The only reason he is here is to actually provide us with our specials back, so you can replace him with any unit that can give you your specials back after they are rewinded in the final stage. Kawamatsu cannot provide us with an attack boost or a color affinity boost because we do not have enough slashers on the team, which means you can freely activate him first to regain your specials, then Kid will give you an attack boost, then Law matching slots, he will become captain and extend Kid's attack boost in duration, then you activate Koala for the color affinity boost and healing, and finally Tasigi for the utility and to give you further damage. This team with no replacements has the maximum damage of around 38 million, and the point boost with the low friend captain is 6.14 times. The next mini boss is Strength Hawkins, and special cooldown reduction is given to striker driven and powerhouse units. In stage number 3, Hawkins will gain 5 turns of damage reduction, 10 turns of resilience, he will provide 5 turns of special bind to all of our units, and also give us an HP cut for 50% 
and then he will also gain poison immunity. So you cannot bypass the resilience with poison. Have that in mind. The team I am going to use to beat Hawkins is this one. We are going to use Treasure Map Queen, who has Limit Break Plus as Captain, because with Limit Break Plus he gets a better Captain ability. And Queen is very good for this quest, for multiple reasons actually. First of all, he can remove damage reduction. Second of all, he can give us adjacent matching slots. And if the new Kaido, the free to play Q Kaido, is adjacent to Queen, specifically under him because he's Captain, then he can provide every other Q unit with a guaranteed matching slot. That means you do not need to use a unit for matching slots. Bon Clay, for example, here is only filler on this team. You do not specifically need him. He only increases your damage, so he is easily replaceable with whatever helps you. In case you're missing some utility, for example, you don't need him if you use the Queen Kaido combo. With this team as a friend captain, I am going to use Hina because I have her and she can give me a higher point boost, but using double Queen is absolutely fine and viable. Talking about Hina, her use in this team, the reason I'm using her twice, is because one, I can get a super type from her, she's boosted by 1.35 times, and she can also increase my damage. All things you can live without, so just replace Hina with a damage booster if you miss her. Next up, Kaido. This free to play Kaido is the MVP. His quest is still active, so you can easily obtain him. He can remove the special bind from everyone, give you an attack boost, and then also give you end of turn damage if you have a driven captain, and we do because we have Queen, so you can bypass resilience. Then the other two units are just here for damage, Smoker is here because he can provide us with a chain boost, and Bon Clay of course with a base attack boost, both of these are replaceable. The Kaido and Queen combo is pretty much all you need in this quest, and then just surround them with damage boosting units. This team with Hina as a friend captain and the super type can do over 100 million damage and the point boost is 5.29 times. Next up we have Sai Orochi who actually gives special cooldown reduction to Slasher, Cerebral and Free Spirit units. And in stage 2, we have a preemptive, this has never happened before and hopefully it never happens again. And the preemptive is that all of our slots will be turned into Bomb and then we see self-attack boost for 2.5 times. I am guessing, based on the wording here, which to be honest I do not trust at all, but based on the wording, the enemy should get the attack boost, not us. Another reason I think this is because we don't see the turns listed on the attack boost, so it shouldn't be something to our own crew, but even if it is, 2.5 times of an attack boost is fine. In stage 3 now, all of our slots become super block, now is present, 10 turns of top row despair, 5 turns of crewmate special bind, all of our slots cannot be changed unless we hit a good one time with each unit, and then the enemy also gains delay immunity. An extremely annoying boss built around the very unique Halloween Corazon Law unit. But I specifically tried to build a team that will allow you to not use a friend captain Halloween Corazon Law in case you cannot find them. If you can, of course, I advise you to use them because you will get a higher point boost and of course the quest becomes easier, but we have alternatives. The alternatives are to use friend captain V16 plus Odin or for option 3, you can use V2 Hiyori as a sub, replacing Treasure Map Hawkins. All of these three options are possible with this specific team and absolutely viable. Let's now explain the team, shall we? First, we have V2 6 plus Blackbeard as captain, who actually does not get special cooldown reduction, but we don't care, we do not need his special, we need him because he has a good captain ability, boosting our main damaging units. And we can also attach him with support Lafitte, who can reduce despair for the two turns we need to completely remove it, if we do not have Halloween Corazon Law as friend captain of course, who can remove it anyway with their captain ability. Then the other units we are using on this team, first we have Doflamingo, who of course because Blackbeard is captain, can remove the special bind and free everyone, and he can also give us an orb boost. Said or boost though will be specifically given to driven units here, also cerebral but Hawkins won't do lots of damage anyway, so our main damaging units are Blackbeard, Crocodile and Doflamingo. Crocodile is here to provide a color affinity boost and Fujitora is here to reduce despair for 5 turns, so alongside Sockets and Lafitte 
If we are not using Halloween Corazon Loa's friend captain, this pair can be completely removed. Fujitora can also provide a chain boost. Finally, if we don't use friend captain Halloween Corazon Loa, we have different combos. We are either going to use Vitu Hiyori and double Blackbeard Captain. So Vitu Hiyori can be activated in stage 2, give us a full board of locked Wayno slots, and then we are not going to get Super Bomb slots in the final stage, and we can proceed with our specials. But if we don't use Vitu Hiyori, this Hawkins here, activated in stage 2, can give us a full board of guaranteed matching slots, even through Bomb slots. And with the Friend Captain V16 Plus Odin, if we also activate him after Hawkins, we will get a full board of Wayno slots. After that, we are going to take care of the enemies using Fujitora, Hawkins and Odin. The other three units, we need to try and keep their Wayno slot, so they do not get a super block slot in the final stage, they keep their Wayno slots and they can do damage to the enemy. The other units we don't care about because they are not our main damage dealers anyway. I'm also kind of assuming we will have mobs in stage 2. I don't think we are going to all of a sudden see a mini boss like we see in the intrusion or main boss battles. Hopefully that's the case because Banda is going off the rails if we also see another Orochi with like 5 million HP in stage 2 of a mini boss battle. But the thing is, because of this team with friend captain V16 plus Odin has around 40 million damage. You can try and use one of your driven int characters to attack in stage number 2 if you need more damage. Two characters with Wayno slot, for example the middle row units, can still get the job done. Every unit here is actually free to play except Fujitora, so if you do not have him, you can replace him with another despair remover to actually deal with the despair. And if that despair remover can also provide with a bit of damage, that is fine, but I don't think it is necessary. You of course are going to lose out on damage though. The team I have here with the Hawkins Odin combo can do around 40 million damage and the point boost is 4.87 times, but it goes without saying that the damage you will have in your possession is more with the friend captain Halloween Corazon Law and the same goes for the point boost. And you also want to activate Corazon Law in stage number 2 in case I forgot to mention it. The next and final mini boss is Sai Kanjuro. Strength, Dex and Int characters get special cooldown reduction at the start of the quest. And versus Kanjuro, all of our slots will be turned to block. We will get 8 turns of Friend Captain Bind, 3 turns of Special Reverse for the middle row units, 6 turns of Special Bind for the bottom row units, and the enemy will gain 5 turns of Defense Up and Delay Immunity as well. My team is this one. I am going to use the Super Evolution of Halloween Ace as Captain. Ace can pretty much deal with everything here, he can deal with the friend captain bind because he's also our captain, he can remove both the special reverse and special bind debuffs on all of the units that will get it, and then he can also give us an attack boost. On top of the attack boost, we can gain every other buff he can also provide with this specific team. Raizo here is one of the new units, he can remove defense up completely and that is why he is here but you do not specifically need him. You can replace him with another defensive removing unit, like for example Arina Mihok. The reason I am using him specifically is because he can give me a higher point boost. Now, the other units I am using, specifically Luffy and Whitebeard, is necessary because they can first of all provide us with an ore boost, it is a low one, but we can increase it with Ace, and then they can make all of the block slots into TND. And then from Treasure Map Legend Blackbeard in the middle row, we can get Chain Boundaries. He's also not necessary, just like Raizo, he can actually be replaced by the same unit, Arena Mihawk. So you can use Arena Mihawk to replace both of these units, and then just use another placeholder int unit, like I do with Sirahos here, to just do damage and to fill the missing spot in your team, because Arena Mihawk can remove defense up and give you a chain lock. With all of that in mind, our ace can give us an attack boost, remove bind and also remove the other debuffs with his captain ability. Then he can give us a color affinity boost with our friend captain Ace's special and because we are going to have 60 and D slots because of Luffy Newgate, he can increase our ore boost from Luffy Newgate if he has level limit break, if he hasn't, he can't, which is fine. And he can also increase the start of the chain boundary from Blackbeard or he can increase the chain lock from Mihawk. Then the maximum damage, if you can get the increased ore boost, will be around 200 million. 
as you can see a lot so you don't need the increased ore boost and then the point boost will be 5.29 times. The main boss will be Kyukaido and Slasher Free Spirit with Cerebral units get special cooldown reduction at the start of the quest. In stage number 2 we don't know the color of the mini boss, classic Bandai, but every slot will be turned into TNT. We will get the attack down under 3.2 times chain debuff for 4 turns. Now for 1 turn, 6 turns of defense up will be gained by the enemy alongside delay immunity. Then in the final stage we see 5 turns of threshold for the enemy, 8 turns top row despair for our captains, a tap timing barrier that needs 3 good hits in order to break on the enemy, and also Kaido will gain 6 turns of damage reduction and delay immunity. My team for this boss is this one, I know I'm using low but stay with me, it's not actually hard to find replacements here, the team is actually flexible. Let's begin with stage number 2. You want to activate 5 plus Uta, who is actually our captain, very free to play captain, and with her double special activation, she can reduce the opponent's defense to zero, so she deals with defense up, and can also give you a conditional attack boost against the defense down enemy. She can also give you a chain boost, so if you do not have this super type Kizaru over here to get a chain lock for faster damage, essentially, Uta is absolutely fine. The reason I'm using Kizaru for quote unquote faster damage is because with the chain lock he provides we are going to be able to keep the TND slot that the enemy will give to Zoro so in the final stage he can give us a high chain boost if you don't do that it's absolutely fine you can replace Kizaru with anything that helps you by the way the reason I'm calling it faster damage with Kizaru is because he gives us a chain lock for 3.25 times so we won't be inflicted by the attack down at all but with Uta because it is a chain boost we need to build it up first to then do proper damage that's the difference also have in mind that the sailor ability of our law over here makes TND slots matching so if you do not have law you definitely want to replace Kizaru with a unit that gives you matching slots in stage number 2. Maybe a bit of damage, that would be fine. These are your two specials for stage number 2. If you want to swap Wanda to Carrot for example to gain a bit more damage if that is possible or maybe that helps you with color advantage over the miniboss, you can also do that. Treasure Map Luffy is only here to give Zoro access to his superclass ability. His special is not needed anywhere if you do want to use it in stage number 2, that's if you are not planning to keep the TND slot on Zoro of course, because it's not possible, Luffy will shuffle slots, you can do it. Just have in mind, you cannot get the high chain boost. Now for the final stage, Threshold and Damage Reduction are taken care of because of the Friend Captain Zoro special, you need a Friend Captain V for Zoro of course. Then we have Law to deal with Despair alongside Maximum Despair sockets. Law can also give adjacent matching slots and a Color Affinity boost to our team. And then Carrot Wanda can provide us with an Ore boost. Have in mind that we also are going to activate the Super Class ability of Zoro to get an Attack boost. That is the reason we are using Luffy in the team to get the Super Class. But you activate the Super Class before you swap Carrot Wanda, if you swap them in the previous stage and you are not already on Wanda because if you do not activate the superclass before the swap, you will get an attack boost only for Carrot Wanda. Our dual unit can also penetrate barriers, but we are going to break the barrier so we can do more damage with the rest of our units as well. Just make certain to hit the good hits with Kizaru and the Q units, and then attack with everyone else for maximum damage. To quickly talk about replacements for the units that need it, Carrot Wanda, a damage booster, Law, a despair remover, but if you replace Law, you also need to replace Kizaru with someone that can help you with matching slots in stage number 2. If you only want to replace Kizaru, then you can use whatever unit helps you, either in stage 2 or stage 3. If you want to replace Luffy, an attack booster probably in stage number 3, because you are not going to get the super class of Zoro. If you have another Straw Hat or another unit that enables the super class, you can also replace Luffy with whatever you want. Have in mind, if you replace Law, then you are also going to lose the Color Affinity Boost in the final stage and the adjacent matching slots. So perhaps you want to replace both Luffy and Kizaru with him, 
So you can have matching slots in stage two and stage number three. It depends on if you use matching slot support as well. Because Lo here provides a matching slot to Uta, Luffy and Kizaru. Carrot Wanda will get it from their swap. Zoro, we can keep the TND slot from the previous stage, so he can have a matching slot. And then on Law, for example, we can add a support like Story Vivi, and he can have a matching slot, and that way we can have a full board of matching slots. Even though we don't really need it because of the barrier, just mentioning it, and also have in mind that the attack down under a specific chain is 4 turns, so it will carry over to the final stage. So I would highly advise you to have either a chain booster or a chain locker. So keeping Zoro's TND slot with this specific team is incredibly helpful, maybe even needed for your damage output. Zoro's specific chain boost from the special also helps out. Now with this specific team, the point boost is 9.86 times. For the intrusion battle, we are going to face Cubic Mum. In stage number 1, strength decks and int characters get special cooldown reduction. And in stage 2, we don't know the color of the miniboss, but we know the preemptive. We see a limit to our specials to 2 per turn for 2 turns. Now for 1 turn. 2 taps limit, so essentially 1 perfect. 1 turn of a damage nullification shield gained from the enemy alongside delay immunity. For stage number 3, a 3 turn bottom right character captain swap. 5 turns of paralysis. Now again for 1 turn. Special reverse on everyone for one turn, five turns of attack down, and the enemy will gain six turns of threshold alongside delay immunity. An annoying intrusion, surprise, surprise. This is my team for it. I am going to use a V4 Zoro as a friend captain, of course, he is needed here. In stage number two, we are going to activate essentially one special. It is going to be the Kaido here. Funnily enough, that Kaido was added today to the boosted list we did not have another unit to deal with damage nullification except the scabbards. Imagine who made the boosted list, but thankfully they did add Kaido, so we are going to activate him. He gets a 3x or boost and attack boost and will also get a Wano slot, so he should do lots of damage. But the problem here, of course, is that we have two taps. Essentially, we need to attack with Kaido first and hit the perfect. That is pretty much all of our damage. So it's good that he can boost himself a lot but the thing is that even though they made him a boosted unit he's a powerhouse driven he's not boosted from Zoro so what I'm doing to compensate for that or try to at least is first of all I'm using the Sark Superb for increased damage in stage number two to get more of an attack boost from our ship and I'm also using Kid as my captain so I can activate his super type special in stage number two to give Kaido super type, therefore increased damage. Hopefully that is enough, horrific structure once again in the intrusion, but let's move on to stage number 3. First of all, we have Carrot Wanda here, who can give us our special back, and they are in the bottom right spot, so they can become captain, they can also give us an orb boost. They can give an orb boost to every unit on the team, I'm not certain about one thing though, if the special rewind happens before the captain swap, Everything is fine with their Sailor, they will regain their Special, then as a Captain we can activate their Special, everyone gets their Special back. If the Special Rewind happens after the Captain Swap, their Sailor cannot activate anymore. I'm not certain if they can get their Special back because of their Captain ability, because they became Captain in the middle of stage number 3. So we won't be able to get our Specials back. If that's the case, Replace them positions with Kaido, then Kaido will become our captain and he can boost all dex units. After we have our specials back, we can remove threshold with Zoro and get boosting as well. We can remove paralysis with Law and get a color affinity boost. We can remove attack down with Siriu and if we do not have Carrot Wanda, he can also provide us with an orb boost for our slasher and powerhouse units and Kid's special can of course provide us with a very good attack boost. In this specific team, we are not able to activate the super class of Zoro because Bandai decided that his bats cannot actually give him super class eligibility. Whatever. For replacements, it can be a bit tricky. Carrot Wanda, mainly you want someone to help you regain your specials. So for example, the new rare recruit strength Kawamatsu can help. 
If you don't get the ore boost from Carrot Wanda and you do have Siriu, he will give you an ore boost. Have in mind though, if you do replace them with another uh, unit to help you regain your specials, place Kaido in the bottom right spot. Another unit that is a great example to replace Carrot Wanda but also replace Lost Utility is Super Type Kizaru, who can give you your specials back, but he can also remove Paralysis completely and give you a Chain Lock. So now you can replace two units with one and then you can have an empty spot to place whatever unit can help you of course, either with utility or damage. For low of course, as a general replacement, you need the paralysis remover. He also does provide you with a color affinity boost though, so you will lose out on damage if the other paralysis remover cannot provide it. An option, except Kizaru, is the Treasure Map Rare Recruit Summer Nami who can remove paralysis and also give you an ore boost, if I'm not mistaken, and she can also allow Zoro's superclass to activate. Then for Siriu, you need an attack down remover, and an example here is definitely Raid Crocodile, and for Kid, a solid captain I'm guessing for stage number 2, and someone to boost your damage, because Kid can give you an attack boost. You definitely do have options for replacements, but have in mind, if you do keep Carrot Wanda, Check the classes of your replacing units to see if everyone will regain their specials from the Carrot Wanda special. With my specific team though, the point boost is 9.47. And these are all of my teams and everything to prepare you for the upcoming treasure map versus Big Mom. The intrusion can be hectic, I know, and some of the mini bosses as well actually in this treasure map, but hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, definitely leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see my optimized teams for the treasure map in my quick playthrough when the treasure map comes out, definitely subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.